hi guys welcome to my channel in this particular video i'm going to show you how to master in fs studio how to master your song or beat in fs studio so right now i've actually just imported a sample of a song here that i did it could be a beat it could be any sample of yours but this is already a recorded song let me just preview it for you so this is a sample of the song I will go for the mastering today and so the first thing you need to do is to drag in your song for example you just go to your channel you just shortcut you just drag in your song here like I did here though my song is already here or you just go to your import you go import you go to wave then you go to where you have the folder and just click touch this song and import then right now that is how you bring your song here and so you go to your channel now that you have imported your song you go to your channel rack the first you're going to do is just to click normalize so you can see your song is already normalized mm? i'm going to preview My so guys this is our song that we're going to be using for this sample so the first thing you're going to do is uh, link this particular is already linked to your master so you go to your master channel here is there in your fs studio go to your master channel like link. so you can see the signal of the audio is here already so now that you are in your master the first thing that you're going to do is to bring in your eq so here i'm going to show you the mastery chain how it works so you're going to bring in your eq so before we bring in our eq we're going to look at the audio wave and you can see that the audio wave has dynamic you can see some of these are what are dynamic the sounds that are not equal to each other comes we have low dynamic we have this high peak we have this one we have this one we have this one so we're going to make sure that we're going to bring in um tools that is going to help level and treat all these excessive dynamic that we have in this audio that you're going to do them carefully not to crush down the audio so we are here i'm going to bring in so we're in our mixer track here so you go to your effect channel where you put the effect the first we're going to bring in is eq so bring in eq so eq is a tool to help shape in your mix to remove unwanted sound so we're going to remove rumbles so what is rumble rumble is an excessive base frequencies or other frequencies that we don't want that may distort or spoil or hinder your song or your sound to sound better so now that we're bringing our eq in here's our eq i'm going to play My so in this our eq the first we're going to choose is to come here so come here mm, right click and go to a click 20 to 18 hertz so now i have choose my 18 to 80 to roll off some wanted frequency so i'm going to roll off my v i love a little of this so what we just did here is to clean up unwanted sound that may distort or spoil our sound so i just remove unwanted frequency here my v i love you so sometimes you listen to make sure that you don't overdo it. For example, let me show you an example. You can see now that I overdo it, I have affected the main body of the sound. So you ensure that you don't overdo it. So where you have this area where you have the brightest sound. So this area where you have the brightest sound are actually where your frequency is. You can see most of these areas does not have the frequency on it. So I've added my EQ to remove unwanted sound. The next thing I'm going to do is to bring in a compressor. So what does compressor? Does compressor help you treat loud dynamics like this to help equalize so you can have more headroom to increase your sound. So the next thing I'm going to do is to bring in compression. So I'm going to use a visualized compressor here, Fruit Limiter. So this particular instrument, this particular tool has a limiter and a compressor. So what we are going to use here is the compressor. I'm using the compressor, click the compressor. So I'm going to use a ratio. So you can see if you check here, you begin to see the, the amount of I'm going to use two to one or three to one, depending the one that is well good for you. Hmm? My v, I love v. 
So as you can see, it has begun to reduce and to manage those excessive loud sound that I thought I told you about. These excessive loud sound, so it's trying to curb them and manage them. So as you can see, it's reduced. Yeah. You know I be Yeah, you been there when I did also for my day. Yeah, you been there when I did do my fast and free. So you ensure that you don't excessively do it so that you don't destroy the original sound. Okay. My V I love me. Yeah. You know I be Yeah, you been there when I did also for my day. Yeah, you been there when I did do my fast and free. Yeah, you been there. I know they sleep oh, every day, but now I don't get. So, guys, now that we have done our compression, so the next thing we're going to do is to bring in our stereo expander. Bring in our stereo expander. So, our stereo expander is to help you enhance. So, stereo enhancer helps you to enhance and spread. Your sound to both and left speaker to give them space so that they can sound very well. So we just have My V I love me. So you can as well give it the two separation. Yeah. You know I be Yeah, you been there when I did also for my day. Yeah, you been there when I did do my fast and free. Yeah, you been there. I know they sleep oh, every day. So you can as well add extra equalizer if you notice any excessive frequencies going around going on in your mix. My V I love me. Yeah. You know I be. So I'm trying to reduce the frequency of the vocal. Yeah, you been there when I did also for my day. Yeah, you been there when I did do my fast and free. Yeah, you been there. I know they sleep oh, every day, but now I don't get my pay. Yeah, now nah, you want you can pay. No be my please, no be my please, no be my please, no be my please. All this year, yeah, where you day, no be my please, oh, no be my please, no be my please. So guys, so if you have any excessive frequencies you feel you want to remove or it's not enough, you can use the equalizer tool to add or reduce. So right now, I'm trying to manage the voice a bit, although this is just a tutorial, just to try to use it to show you how mastering is done in FS Studio. My V, I love me. Yeah. So now that you have actually gotten, hmm, we have fixed this means the next thing you're going to do is to bring in your limiter. So the limiter here is, we're going to bring in our limiter and we're also going to choose limiter. So now it's already automatically switched to limiter. We used compressor before, but right now it is limiter. So what you're going to do here now is to bring in the overall and ensure that your sound is hitting zero dB. So if I play now, you discover your sound is not hitting the automatic. So your sound is hitting minus nine. Minus nine v, I love v. V. So this time we're going to increase our limiter, ensure that you drop down this. So we're going to increase the overall to hit zero dB. So zero dB is your mastering level. Excessively, if it, if if it's above zero dB, then you may likely be crushing the sound, and it's not going to give you a very clean sounding sound. So guys, make sure you subscribe to this channel so that whenever we post a video like this, you're going to get a notification. And also join our Telegram class where we post regular videos uh, on how to on music production tips and tricks. So if you want me to do any video that you have in mind, if you have want me to answer any of your questions, make sure you put a question in the comment section below. Then I will make a video and I will post it on this channel so that you you see the video and learn more. So I'm going to give it an overall view. My V, I love you. You know I be. 
Yeah, you been there when I did also for my day. Yeah, you been there when I did do my fast and pray. Yeah, you been there. I know they sleep oh, every day. But now I don't get my pay. Can I you want you can pay? No be my please, no be my please, no be my please, no be my please. All this year, yeah, where you day, no be my place. Oh. So we're gonna do preview hmm, before and after for you to see this effect. I'm gonna drop it down. I'm gonna drop it down. You see how poor it is. I'm gonna bring it back on. So you can see the drastic difference. So guys, I'm going to preview this and I will preview before and after so that you can actually know the difference. My V for after. Before. You know how it be. Yeah, you been there when I did also for my day. Yeah, you. Be so, guys, this is how you master your beats in FL Studio. So, make sure you follow this tutorial step by step from beginning to the end, and do the same thing so that you can achieve the same result. So, make sure you hit the like button, comment the next video you want me to do on the comment section, and ensure that you share this video to your friends so that they can also learn from it so make sure you join on our telegram class to ensure that you also learn from our tutorial so guys catch you in the next video you know i be yeah, you been there when I did also for my day. Yeah, you been there when I did do my fast and pray. Yeah, you been there. I know they sleep oh every day, but now I don't get my pay.